listen, if he never said anything right, that would be the only thing right there. If you want to live, ask a nurse. Because you may be at the hospital. A lot of people want to worship doctors all the time. Nine times out of ten, 9.99999, like they're doing to Maury Povich. We got the answer. So if you want to live, ask a nurse. Anyway, so for our Ask the RNB, it'll be something very, very quick tonight. Um, one of our questions, one of my questions were um, explain um, long COVID. So, you know, we went through the whole pandemic and we had COVID. And then now as, as time has gone on, they release them back out into the wild and we have COVID still lurking mixed with RSV, mixed with the flu. So you have a plethora of gunk out there. So long COVID is people are experiencing this thing and, and it's it lingers. This is the COVID that has come back and it's lingering. It is, um, you're having more of a shortness of breath all the time. Um, it's, it's more of a everyday thing. Um, it's not, you know, when you get a cold and the symptoms go away, not with this COVID. This COVID is, is, is sticking around. There are more and more people that have had COVID and that have been diagnosed with long COVID that are getting inhalers. Um, doctors are prescribing inhalers to open up their lungs because really that's pretty much the, the the basis of it that's the basics just to get you to breathe a little bit better so you'll see more and more people with inhalers they don't necessarily have asthma but what they do have is an inflammation in their lung tissue that's giving them pause that's giving them difficulty breathing that's giving them wheezes stuff that they probably never had before but long COVID is sticking around longer hence the name long COVID. Um, so folks, I said this during the pandemic, I used to do a little spot on Facebook Live where I would call it the Corona Chronicles, okay? That was something I just did just because I was bored and because I had a lot of people asking me questions. Folks, the, the biggest thing is washing your hands. You don't want anybody telling you what to do. I get it. But what you need to do is protect yourself and your family. And if you don't do anything else, wash your hands. Keep your distance from people, especially if they're coughing and hacking and this, that, and the third. Stay away from them. Use your use your noodle. You know what I'm saying? Just like wash your hands. If you're thinking you're washing your hands too much, wash them again. Because that is your first defense to get rid of germs. So don't be afraid to be the only one wearing a mask. Don't be afraid to be the only one washing your hands. Don't be afraid to be the only one distancing yourself from folks, giving folks room, because you'll be the one that can breathe tomorrow. You'll be the one who's not sick as a dog tomorrow. So to heck to what they think, take care of you and your family. If you have any questions for me, Ask the RN Diva. You can send it down at the questions below. Um, the RN Diva at gmail.com. I will give you my opinion. I will not give you any medical advice. You can get medical advice from the guy in the white coat. You can come to me and just give me a good old question, and I'll do my best to opine. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find it, and then we'll learn together. So if you'd like to send me a question again, send it to the rndiva at gmail.com.